Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Angela. I am a full-time voiceover artist and audiobook narrator, and my channel is dedicated to those that are just starting out, and I try to help in as many ways as I possibly can to help get you started in your own voiceover business. Thank you so much for joining me today. I just had a client on Fiverr leave a very, very nice review. He called me the voiceover queen. <laughs> I don't know about that, but um, very, very nice. And I'm very flattered. That was very nice to see that. But um, in today's video, I just received a children's book to narrate. So that's what we're going to look into today. I did get the author's permission to use their book as a uh, educational tool for today's video. So thank you so much for allowing this. I really appreciate it. And I'm sure it will help others in their own children's book, audio book narration. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's get started. All right. First thing we're going to do is pull up our Adobe Audition. All right. And here is our manuscript. I'm going to enable the editing just in case I want to mark this up at all. And when I say mark it up, I mean add a comma where I think it will help me to narrate, maybe highlight a couple of things um, that I want to not overlook while I'm narrating. So I think what I'm going to do is go through this book quickly. And it looks like this author has everything broken up into page one, page two, pages three and four. I think this is more or less for the uh, for the illustrations of the book or maybe the final layout of the book, but it doesn't really apply to the narrator. I think what I'm going to do is just highlight the things that I am not narrating so I don't accidentally narrate them. Whoops, let's do... Let's see. So we got some images in here. I don't want to accidentally narrate those. So I'm going to go through really quickly and just highlight the images or the non-narrated parts. Okay, so I just went through the entire book, uh, manuscript rather, and highlighted the sections that I don't think I'm supposed to narrate. So do I, I don't accidentally narrate them as I'm going along. But what we're going to do first is to uh, open up a couple of files, uh, audio files. One of them is going to be our opening credits. And the next one is going to be our book. And I think I will just go ahead and open a third for the closing credits. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so first I'm going to go in my Adobe Audition. I'm going to hit Shift Control N to bring up a new audio file. And this one, I label my files uh, with numbers and also the title of the book and then which file that it is. So in this case, I'm going to start with 00, zero underscore the name of the book, which is Mariah Finds Her Self-Esteem. And then I'm going to go underscore again, opening credits. And of course, for ACX, we want our sample rate to be 44,100, and our bit depth is going to be 16. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and record the opening credits. And of course, I'm going to cut this bit out. Just, lay, you know, just going to restart this here. Okay, here we go. Opening credits. Mariah finds her self-esteem. Written by Nicole Lumpkin. Narrated. Actually, no, I'm going to go with Read for You by Angela Olfast. Okay, and of course, we know this was a boo-boo. I didn't mark it with my clicker as I normally do, but since this is such a short file, I'm just going to get rid of that. And of course, I'm going to process this, so I will get rid of some of this ambient noise in here and some of the mouth noise, and I will show you that in a moment. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and save this file. And now I'm going to open up another file, shift Control n And this one's going to be 01 because it's in consecutive order. So this way, with the numbers, it helps the author upload these in the correct order for ACX. That is why I do that. Okay. 
And then underscore, since this is a children's book and it's relatively short, there are no chapters or sections. I'm just going to call this one book for right now. And of course, for this video, I'm not going to narrate the entire book because that would not be fair to the author because this is going on to Audible. But I will show you some highlights as we move through this video. Okay, so because we have the title in the opening credits, we're not going to include them again here, nor are we going to include the page numbers. So here we go. Oh, also, I should note, because this is a children's book, I'm going to read this a little bit slower and enunciate everything. Because as we all know, children are not that familiar with the English language. They are learning through reading these books or listening to these books. So we're going to read a little bit slower than we normally would for any other novel. Mariah was a bubbly and friendly little girl. She loved to laugh and sing and play with her cousins. Her favorite game was making up dance moves to her favorite songs. It was the first day of second grade, and Mariah was excited and a little nervous. She hung her coat on the peg. Made a mistake. She hung her coat on her peg and went to find her new desk. Mariah's new teacher was called Mr. Beetle. Mr. Beetle started the day by welcoming everyone and introducing a new girl, Carly. Mr. Beetle said she had moved here from another town. Mr. Beetle asked for a volunteer to help show Carly around. Mariah shot up her hand. She loved to help. Thank you, Mariah. You are always confident and ready to help, said Mr. Beetle. Perhaps you can start by showing Carly where to go for lunch. At first, Mariah and Carly got on well. And here is the canteen, said Mariah. This is where we eat our lunch. And as you may have noticed, I gave Mr. Beetle a more of a gruff masculine tone and Mariah got a younger sounding kind of a higher pitched tone. I normally don't go that exaggerated with normal novels like adult novels or even young adult novels. Mostly for children's books, I tend to exaggerate these because I want it to be a little bit more entertaining for the children because even if they're enjoying the book's content, I want them to enjoy the listening experience as well. And this is where we play at recess. Would you like to play skipping with us? Yes, okay. I used to play skipping in my own school, said Carly. Great, then you'll be a natural. Great, then you'll be a natural, smiled Mariah. Now, I can't really go on and narrate the whole book for you, as I mentioned before, but notice how I varied the girls' voices just a little bit, because there will come times as you're narrating audiobooks that there won't be a Carly said or a Mariah said to indicate where one stops and where one starts, you know, when, when especially when there's a conversation, a long conversation between two characters. So if you differ the voices just a little bit, the reader, or the listener in this case, can still follow along with who's saying what in this situation. Now, not every author is going to want character voices, but being a children's book, character voice differentiation will definitely help move the story along and keep the children a little bit more engaged in the story. So I'm going to skip ahead now to recording the closing credits so you can see how those are done. Okay, so now I'm going to do shift control n and this file is going to be number three. So 03, Mariah finds her self-esteem. And this is going to be underscore closing credits. Oh, I guess I can capitalize that C as well. Okay. Now, your closing credits are always going to be pretty much the same formula. This has been 
Mariah Finds Her Self-Esteem Written by Nicole Lumpkin Read for you by Angela Olfast Copyright 2021 by Mar- By Nip- <laughs> By Nicole Lumpkin The End Okay, so I goofed a little bit, but, you know, that happens. Um, <laughs> just try not to get into a laughing fit when you goof over something just really dumb. <laughs> but it happens. It even happens to the ones, you know, those of us that narrate a bajillion books. But your ending credits are always going to be pretty close, pretty 98% of the time the same format. This has been the title of the book, written by the author, narrated by or read for you by your name, the narrator, and then you're going to have the copyright information. Copyright 2021 or whatever the copyright date is in the book by either the author or the rights holder's name. And you can also add production copyright 2021. That's going to be the year that you narrated the book by the author's name, or the rights holder's name. And if there's no the end at the end of the book section or the last chapter that you're narrating, make sure that you include the end at the end of your closing credits to indicate the end of the book. (laughs) Okay, so let's go ahead and format these opening and closing files so you can see how we do that part. All right, let's go back to our opening credits because there's no goofs on that. And as I mentioned on other videos, I have a preset rack for my audiobooks. And I will put the card up above if you want to see how to do this. Okay, so I'm going to apply my rack. All right, great. Now I'm going to take a little bit of room tone. I usually do about half of a second. And you can see the duration down here at the bottom. So I'm going to stretch this out till about 500 or so. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm going to copy this room tone, and then I'm going to paste that here. Now I'm going to do it one more time, and then I'm going to just reduce a little bit to make it within the parameters for ACX, which is between half a second and a second, which this falls between, but I'm going to get rid of just a little bit more. And then we're going to come down here to the tail end, and we're going to measure this room tone length by using our duration down here of the selection, which is 1.129 seconds. I'm going to add a little bit more time, so I'm going to paste in that room tone that we had saved. So this should be one point, so I'm going to do one more. So then this would be just over two seconds, which is fine. All right, I'm going to listen to, actually, I'm going to put my monitor or my headphones on so I can listen back to this. Let's see. Mariah Finds Her Self-Esteem, written by Nicole Lumpkin, read for you by Angela Olfast. Perfect. That sounds good. So I'm going to go ahead and normalize this. Okay. And now I'm going to go over to Amplitude Statistics, and I'm going to scan it to see if it falls within ACX's RMS requirements, which it does. My total RMS amplitude is negative 19.70 dB. So we are there. So I'm going to go ahead and save this as an MP3. Make sure that we are at 44100 hertz in mono, 16 bit, and that our format settings are also correct, which they are. And it OK. And then I'm going to close this one down. It's done. So let's go to our closing credits. First thing I'm going to do here is go to my effects rack and apply my audiobook preset. Okay, now we know that I made some mistakes on this one. So let's just take a listen back and see where those boo-boos were. I can clearly see where I had my mistakes with the mark of the click of my dog clicker. So there's one there, there's one here, there's one there, and there's one there. So let's let's listen through this really quick and clean this up. This has been, okay, so this is the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and take that same room tone that we took from the opening credits. And then I'm going to start my playhead here. 
drag it all the way over, and then I'm going to paste that room tone back in here on top of my mistakes. So instead of just cutting them out, I'm just going to paste the room tone over them to save a little bit of time. I paste a little bit more in, and then as you can see, we are not quite under a second. So I'm going to just get rid of some of that extra tone there. Okay, so 5.5 .5 is there. So we are within <laughs> the one second range. So that's good. All right, so let's listen through this really quick. This has been Mariah Finds Her Self-Esteem. Written by McColl. Written by McColl. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of that boo-boo plus that extra room tone. Written by McColl Lumpkin. Read for you by Angela Olfast. I heard a mouth click by Angela. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, let's listen back for you by Angela Olfast. Perfect. Actually, there's a little bit of a noise, a nose fart there. Hold on. Olfast. Yeah, I heard it. Let's get rid of that. Olfast. Perfect. Copyright 2021 by Mar by. N by Nicole Lumpkin. By Mar There we go. Tongue twister. All right. So I'm going to get rid of those boo boos. Delete them. 2021 by Nicole Lumpkin. The end. Perfect. Okay. So let's see how much room tone we have at the tail here. So down here, we got 1.678 seconds. So I'm going to add just a little bit more time onto that. Let's do two. Okay, so we're at 2.707 seconds. That works just fine. All right, so we're going to do some normalization. Come over to our amplitude statistics and scan it. And this one is also total RMS amplitude of negative 19.79 dB, which falls within ACX's requirements. So we're going to go ahead and save that one as MP3 and just double check that all of our other settings are correct, which they are. So I'm going to close or save that and then close it. And there we go. There is a little bit of a tutorial on a children's book, but there's no... When it comes to character voices, have fun with it. Especially if the author says that you can make the fun different character voices, have some fun with it. Try some different things. Go outside that box or that comfort zone and just really go wild if you want to. Especially, I find that when uh, children's books have like animal characters, it's a lot of fun to just go nuts with them. You know, go really high pitched and just really, you know, just fun voices. Have fun with it. Children's books are really, really fun to narrate. So that is today's video on narrating a children's book for ACX. If you have any questions for me or comments about audiobook narration or voiceover in general, go ahead and leave them down below or send me an email. Come on over to my website at voiceoverangela.com. I've got some recommended gear there. I've got a great group of people who interact and support each other and share their success stories. I've got courses. I've got one-on-one -on -one time with me if you work better with a little one-on-one -on -one versus watching videos on YouTube. I really appreciate your time here with me today. Please subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.